Hi, this is Jim's Little Boat. I'm Jim, and I am one ticked off Catalina 22 sailor this morning. My second $200 keel winch just stopped working, just like the first one. So I got 400 bucks invested into a keel winch that's not working right. So I'll take a deep breath and we'll go out to the boat and we'll, I'll show you what's wrong and you can follow along as I figure it out. I've got some ideas, but I'm not sure what, what it's gonna take. So here's the source of my aggravation with this winch. It's uh, cranked up now, or it's cranked down actually, and I'll be able to crank it up quite easily and then you'll watch as I try to lower it. You've got to be a young gorilla in great shape to get it to go down. Watch. Comes up. Pretty nice. No problem. Now, try and get it to go down. Whole different story. That's a workout. I'm out here at the boat and I'm going to try to repair this winch myself. I think I have a fair shot at doing it. There's three or four possibilities that come to mind for things that are wrong. I do need to remind you, however, that Catalina Direct says you're not supposed to do this because a damaged winch can be very dangerous. And also I need to remind you that as normal, my liability is limited to exactly what you paid me for this information, which is zero. I've been on the phone with some experts and they think the problem is one of three places. Possibility one is that these lock nuts are too tight. And that could possibly happen as you're always cranking up the handle. And that will lock up the brake mechanism right there. Possibility two is that these metal plates that engage with the brake mechanism have a lot of corrosion and the brake pads are sticking to them. And then the third possibility that they pointed out is that there is a threaded shaft upon which the brake mechanism rides and that it may have debris or corrosion which prevents the brake from engaging and disengaging properly. So I don't know what it is. I'm going to try the easy fix first. I happen to know the torque spec, so I'm going to take the handle off and retorque the lock nuts and see if that will fix it. If that does, great. I don't have to take the winch out of the boat. If it doesn't fix it, I have to take the winch out of the boat so I can get to all of these parts inside the brake mechanism. Botheration. Botheration. Any three-quarter wrench will take the handle off. It's just a nylock nut. But you will need these special thin open-end wrenches when it's time to adjust the lock nuts on the inside. You can get by with one, but you're going to have to buy a set of thin open end wrenches. As you can see, the handle has flat sides that fit over the flat sides on the nut. So I'm really not liking the handle tightens it up too much theory, but like I said, it's easy and so we're going to start with that. Next thing we're going to have to do is remove the outside lock nut and you're going to need two three-quarter wrenches for that. One of them has to be thin because it's got to fit over the inside nut. I just happen to have two thin wrenches so that's what I'm using today. It was kind of a pain in the butt to remove that inside nut so I held the shaft in place with a smaller wrench on the flat part of the shaft. You don't want that uh, shaft to unwind the worm the a long thread that's inside so I'll, if I have to I'll take this all apart and show you all the pieces but for the moment just take my word that you don't want that shaft turning counterclockwise while you undo the nut. Alrighty the nuts are gone and we are down to the metal pieces that Pete at the factory suggested might be corroded and would cause the problem. Whoa I think maybe Pete's right. Let's clean this up and see what happens. So there are the pieces in order from right to left. The two lock nuts, the flat shaped washer that goes over the handle and the round shaped washer. 
and they all have stuff on them. So what's stumping me about this is it was working great one morning, and then that afternoon it wouldn't lower at all. But I think what we'll do is get some nice bronze wool and polish everything up. I don't think you lubricate it because it's a friction winch. And uh, we'll put it back together with the correct torque specs and see what happens. And I should say, don't use steel wool. You don't need those little particles in there rusting. I'm going to use bronze wool and then clean it off with acetone. I don't think it matters too much which side goes which way with this washer. They look the same. But this one had a totally different level of finish, so I don't know if you can see it, but I took an engraver and labeled it outside. I think maybe I'll do it a little better before I put it all back together. As it turned out, I didn't have any bronze wool on hand, so I grabbed some uh, 400 grit sandpaper wet and dry and polished it, and that was the side that was dirty before. Now we'll go after this other little washer and see how it cleans up. There, those look more better. I'll take a little piece out there and polish up the part I don't want to remove at the moment. And then we'll put it all together. I just have to go find my inch pound wrenches and sockets and such. Last time I did this, I had a picture from the factory. I wrote down 130 inch pounds on the inside nut, 190 on the outside nut. Snug up the handle when you're done. And I've got my little inch pound torque wrench, which I bought specifically for doing the keel bolts, but it will work nicely for this. It's got a quarter inch drive with a three eighths adapter and a three eighths, three quarter long drive socket. Let's see what happens. I cleaned up the oxidation and put it back together and torqued it up to 130 inch pounds, which isn't very much. That's like a little more than 10 foot pounds. I was able to just hold this sprocket and uh, while I tighten it up and it clicked over nicely. So that part's done. Now we're going to have to torque the outside to 190. This is why you need the thin three quarter wrench. You've got to hold that inside nut while you torque up the outside one to 190 inch pounds, which I just finished doing. Well, dang me, it seems to work. Thank you, Pete, at the home office. Gosh almighty fish hooks. Wow, how often does it happen that a boat repair takes less time and less money than you thought? Not very often. I was pleasantly surprised today. I want to close out this video by uh, giving some credit here. First to Pete Darling at Horizon Global. He's the guy who told me how to fix the Fulton brake winch. I want to give credit to Dutton Enterprises. They make competing winches, and they have two great videos, one on how to reset the brake if you screw that up, and the other on how brake winches work. Those are uh, great videos, and I will post the link in the uh, beginning of the video. And finally, to Jason at Adventures in Paradise. He has a really nifty way to install the winch. He installs the casing, then he puts the barrel back, or the, the drum back in. And that's a great video. So thanks for watching. I hope you can get your brake winch working as easily as this one went today. You will need those special tools. See you on the water.